This is a Raspberry Pi 2 with a camera module and I want to set that up outside at the end of a long piece of Ethernet cable but I need to get power to it so I want to try power over Ethernet. But this is not set up for that. So I've got here a power over Ethernet thingy that injects the power over the Ethernet cable but I wasn't sure if it's safe to just inject the power into the Ethernet port. I wasn't sure if it's going to blow something up even though it's not going to get power from it. So I made this, which is two Ethernet sockets, and I only connected the four wires that the data goes through. And testing that so far, I can uh, ping this thing, which means this is actually working. Which means now I can tap off the Ethernet here and run that into this DC to DC converter, which is actually what I'm currently using to power the Pi off of 24 volts from this power supply. All right, next test here. Excuse the... Uh, Terrible, terrible soldering. I've got uh, this power over Ethernet going to here, and I've got just the power tapped off going to the DC to DC converter, which goes to the Raspberry Pi, and I'm able to ping it, although I've got the LAN plugged in directly. And here's testing the full system. This is coming from my router, goes through here. This adds the power over Ethernet. This black wire will be the really long wire that goes to here. Ethernet goes straight to the Pi. The power gets tapped off here, it's 24 volts, gets turned into 5 volts here and powers up the Pi, and it's running. And I'm able to ping the Pi, which tells me that the Ethernet works and that the Pi is actually powered up properly. Okay, now I got it mounted in a project box. You can see there's only one Ethernet cable going in and the camera connector cut wire coming out. And testing it, I can reach it from the laptop, so now I'm ready to mount that in the bird feeder. And after I did all that, I realized I could buy a power over ethernet splitter that does exactly what I cobbled together. I ordered one of those for next time. So this bird feeder is where I want to mount my camera thingy on. And we don't use this anymore, so I figure I'll put it inside here. Unfortunately, these things are plexiglass and have gone all milky. I think if I take the screws out of here, I should be able to just lift the whole unit off the post. It's got some bird's nests on it too. Now, how to get that inside there? It looks fairly clean. I managed to get the top right off of this bottom, but uh, man, that thing is full of ants. They're just squirming. I need one window that is at least kind of transparent. I painted all the plexiglass panels black so that I get fewer reflections off of the one piece of glass. And these slide up and down which will allow me to get in there and aim the camera. I ran the ethernet cable through some plastic hose so that hopefully it'll last longer when I bury it. Goes up to this post. And here I've got the computer and the camera module and I just tested that from inside. It actually works. I just need to aim it this way a little bit more. And now I just need to put the top on. Even though I mounted the camera in a bird feeder, the idea of this camera is not to watch the birds. It's intended as a security camera and just to get pictures of things happening around the house. And for the latest Raspberry Pi, they've announced a Pi hat that does all that, available in the summer. But in the meantime, this technique can be used with any old Raspberry Pi.